We're learning new details tonight about the man accused of spraying hateful graffiti on the campus of Providence College. He was arrested last night following a manhunt and is also facing assault charges tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from Providence with what she's learned. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, tonight the Providence City Councilman, whose ward includes Providence College, is calling this alleged act of vandalism disgraceful. Meanwhile, that suspect is facing 16 felony counts. Swastikas painted on grave markers in a cemetery on the Providence College campus. The anti-Semitic symbols and other anti-Catholic messages sprayed on a central cross and headstones. All were quickly scrubbed, leaving no signs Tuesday of the brazen act of vandalism that police say occurred Monday night. The college says this man, 26-year-old Kevion Gomera, was spotted by public safety officers at around 9.30, allegedly defacing headstones and burning American flags in the Dominican Cemetery on campus. The campus was put on lockdown after Gomera allegedly struck one of the responding officers in the head and ran. That officer was treated at the hospital and released. A manhunt ensued and Gomera was eventually found hiding in some bushes. PC's president and president-elect issuing a joint statement saying in part, we loudly and unequivocally condemn this racist, anti-Semitic and anti-Catholic action and the desecration of the gravestones of our beloved deceased Dominicans who served Providence College so well and so faithfully for many years. In addition, we condemn this action in support and solidarity with the Jewish members of our community, many of whom enjoyed the friendship of those late Dominican friars. The Jewish Alliance and Board of Rabbis also responding, saying, we will continue the work we do in collaboration with our partners to educate people as to the dangers of anti-Semitism and hate in any form. And Gomera appeared in court earlier today facing 15 counts of desecration of a grave. That's a felony charge. He also faces charges of assault and obstruction of an officer. He did not enter a plea. His bail was set at $10,000 personal recognizance. Live in Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.